Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for Renovation Outlet and today we're going to be showing you our new model of handles which is called Nevada and it comes in three colors uh, bright chrome, satin nickel and black matte. So the feature of this uh, handle is that it has this round drive-in latch instead of the square. So this is a regular square that usually comes with handles but this is the round and it also comes with this adapter if you already have a square so you can convert it into a square so this is a square faceplate so now we're going to show you how to install our nevada uh, door handle with our round faceplate drive-in latch so as you can see this door has a round opening uh, so we're going to simply put our latch inside the latch can be adjusted through here so you can make it uh, smaller or uh, a little bit longer so you're gonna put it in so if the door is closing that way so the latch has to the angle has to face that way so once the latch is inside we're gonna take our uh, door handles so this one has the the lock because this is a privacy handle you gotta make sure that the lock is uh, at the bottom and it's kind of hidden and then the screws of course uh, that's gonna be on the inside of uh, your room you're just gonna put it through the latch here on one side and it's going to meet on the other with the outer portion of the handle then we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver and then these two bolts that come with the handles that's what we're going to secure them together so you're going to use a screwdriver instead of uh, any power tools because they can damage the handle so uh, these handles sets come with this allen key so if you need to switch from left to right, you can use the Allen key in order to remove the handle. And you can also use it, for example, in our station right now to tighten these screws. You can remove the handle completely and tighten everything. And only after that, you can put it back. So if you do that, as you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. So if you need to switch it or like right now, for ease of installation, you can remove the handle. When you feel that the bolts are almost uh, all the way in and tight, this is when you're gonna look at the handle. Uh, you can close the door and you just gotta make sure that everything is straight. So this portion is straight. So as you can see, it has movement. If you made sure, then we can tighten it. Of course, you're gonna check if the handle works and the latch is moving freely. At this point, we're going to mount our handle back with our Allen key. Same thing, we're going to make sure that everything is working. If you would have a square uh, opening here, you would be able to use this piece, but we're using a round latch here. So next is going to be our strike plate. So if we're going to close the door, you're going to see that there's an old strike plate and it's uh, silver instead of the black so we're going to switch it to our black so we're going to take our strike plate as you can see it fits the opening really good but in case uh, you have a different opening you can use a uh, exacto knife in order to kind of trim your uh, door frame a little bit in order for it to fit again do not uh, over tighten them too much and best to use hand tools and that's it. Once it locks, it means uh, that the latch is going in perfectly into the middle. If not, then you can loosen these two screws and you can move out the latch a little bit inward or outward. So that's it for this installation. I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time.